Hey everybody, Matt Brown here, and I'm going to teach you In the Mood by Rush on bass. So, like I usually do with these bass lessons, what I'll kind of do is talk about um, what chords the guitar riff is doing and why we're playing the bass lines that we're playing over top of them. I think that'll be the most helpful advice to give, uh, to give you to approach playing this song instead of just saying, you know, go here, put your finger there, because um, there's a lot of variation to the bass lines that he plays. So anyway, uh, the song starts um, basically that when the bass comes in, what we're doing is we're playing over this guitar riff that's playing kind of like bluesy material over an A chord for, for two measures and then a C chord. So at the start, he's pretty much just playing root notes. You know, some roots and some fifths, you know, basic, you know, real bass 101 type stuff. Okay, now let's talk about what happens in the next four bars guitar-wise. So the, the following four bars, um, what you're going to have is a D chord for two measures, then we're going to have a, a G chord for one measure, and there's like this little chromatic walk down that leads to an E chord in the following bar. So what he's doing uh, over the D chord is um, playing off of, you know, chord tones for the most part, your, your root fifth and, and third. Um, so we have... You know, so you know, basic bass playing type stuff here. Um, over the the G chord, same stuff, roots and fifths, and then the walk down that we're, we're going to do is five, four, three, two to the E chord, just chromatic walk from G to E. So that's the little lick at the end that that brings you back to the A chord. Um, so it's. Just two on your second string, open to three there on your uh, your third string. All right, so then we're we're back kind of to um, the the beginning of the form chord wise. We're going to do two bars of A, two bars of C, um, the the bar of D. You know, two bars of D. I'm sorry, to the G to the E thing, and then we're going to move on to the next part. So I'll I'll play how that concludes kind of slowly so you can see that. So we're starting um, at the A chord here. Uh, I'll count this in. One, two, ready, go. C chord. D. G. E. All right, now we're going to go to the next part of this song. And this starts with the four chord um, of the key of A, which is D. So let's, let's talk about the guitar part there. So uh, this next part, the guitar is playing some uh, power chords. We have like D, D, A, A. And then we have this little thing where we're going to go G, A, and then with a little lick at the end. So um, I'll play just these, these first two measures on bass so you can see how the bass interacts with that riff. So the next time it's, uh, it's D, D, A, A, E is what the guitar is playing. So we're pretty much following the root notes for this, this whole part here. You know, with some with some light embellishments, like uh, so, you know, like some some lead-in tones going into the chord changes. You know, playing off of thirds and fifths, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's check out uh, the next four bars. So what this has is it starts off the same way. You've got the D D A A, and or sorry, yeah, D D A A G G A type thing. Uh, and then what it does is it kind of brings in the chromatic walk down from the G to E that happens in the verse. So I'll just start here. We have... So, you, you know, walk down there. We're going to stay on the E chord here. Back to the G and then the walk down again. And then basically what we're, we're back to is the, the first part of the song. So I'm not going to go through that again. You know, just some slight variations that you can probably pick up from the uh, play along. So what we have is the return of the B section as well. 
and then we're going to go to the guitar solo which is played over the A section um, so you know the same material that we had um, from from the previous A sections so uh, the only part uh, Basically, you know, we're, we're going to go through uh, some cycles of the A sections and, and the B sections again. Um, there's a part where it strips down to like a re-intro and the guitar does the A section again. Um, and the band jumps back in, A section, B section. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the outro. That's the only part that's, that's different in this, you know, obviously at the end of the song. So uh, I'll just play through this part and then uh, talk about it with you. <laughs> So there's the bass line. So mainly what we're doing here is we're, we're just uh, doubling what the, the guitar is doing riff-wise, this kind of bluesy, you know, type figure. Um, we are, you know, starting with a high A root note, whereas the guitar is playing, you know, like an 8-5 power chord, uh, open, you know, chord. So kind of a neat thing that he's playing the higher root note. Um, and then, yeah, just finding and ending with an A chord and then, you know, a staccato accent at A chord at, at the end there. So. Um, not, not anything to talk about the outro. So, uh, yeah, that, that pretty much takes care of all of In The Mood. If you guys have questions, comments, or, uh, you know, would like to see my transcription of the bass line for this one, uh, I did kind of do the guitar as well, so, you know, if you'd like to see that too, uh, just let me know. But I'm Matt Brown, and, uh, please subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you have the time, please check out my band, Dead Parade, or my business, Matt Brown's Guitar Studio. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you around.